Hello YouTube, welcome to Coding with Dom, I'm Dom and this is me coding. Now what is this? This isn't VS Code. Why Why do I have this thing open? Now I'm, I'm thinking doing something a bit different, um, mainly because I don't have any more ideas on what to show you with Nightwatch and end-to-end -end testing, but also because I want to shake things up a little bit and I want to learn together with you guys rather than me just teaching you things. Um, I recently came across this cool thing called Godot or Godot. I think it's Godot. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. It's written Godot. Um, this is their web page. It's uh, godotengine.org, and it's basically a game engine. If you've ever used Unity or Unreal or stuff like that, it's similar, I guess, in concept. I w recently watched a video where it explained how to do some basic things and I found it very immediate and easy to understand and also extremely quick and easy to set up, which wasn't really the case with Unity and other stuff that, I prov that I'd tried out in the past, if I have to be honest. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I create a game with you guys? What do I mean by that? It's like... Um, I'm, I'm going to try and, you know, create the basic setup today, like just create the outline of a game, like not even that, but I don't know, the, the basic building blocks for a platformer, okay? And I hope that this will get some people interested in this thing and that we can kind of build it together, that you can suggest what I should add on to it, what features I should add what this game should be and look like and then we can build it together I guess I don't know I don't know it's an experiment I don't know what's gonna come out of this but um, at least you'll see how Godot works at least the basics and we can go from there how about that so let's jump right into it um, all you have to do if you want to install it is go to godotengine.org download um, I think it's available on uh, Windows, it's even available on Linux, so you can download this uh, for any any platform. I think it's very lightweight, it didn't seem, I don't remember, but it wasn't very big download, it was a very lightweight download, and the really cool thing is all the documentation is offline, so you could potentially turn internet off and on a plane build your game, because all the documentation is inside this thing, it's really, really cool. Um, so I'm going to start with a new project. And a uh, new game project, let me call it My Little Platformer. Okay, um, it's going to look for an empty folder, so I'm going to create something in here called uh, Godot. And inside this, I'm going to create My Little Platformer. Okay, select current folder. Create. I'm not sure what this decision is, but this is default, so I'm just going to go with that. Create, and there we go. It's opened up the game engine, so let me... Yeah, that's not going to look good, is it? All right, I'm going to stick with this layout. I think we can see the various things, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something very... Oh, oh, that felt weird. Yes, here I am. Okay. Okay. We're good. So, on this this set here. Over here, we have the file system. And uh, we have some default things. So, there's an icon. There's a... Um, you know what? I'm not going to bother explaining everything. Let's just wing it. That's, that's how I do things. I don't know what all these panels are all over the place. Let me just build. And then we'll, you know, you'll figure it out. You're smart people. Um, so we're going to do a 2D game. I don't want to do a 3D game. That seems very, that's like terrifying to me. So we're going to start off with a 2D scene. Um, what we want to do is create a root node. Now I see that um, it recommends some things, but the way I saw it was just by creating a default node. So you can imagine this node as the world. Okay, and I'm going to call it that world. This contains everything. This contains all of the game stuff, assets, sprites, things. 
I, I'm trying to maintain like a teacher <laughs> mentality and explain things as I go, but I don't really know what I'm talking about, so bear with me. I, I hope it's entertaining at least. It might not be, but there you go. That that's what it is. Um so inside this world, I'm gonna create a not a sprite. I'm going to create a, what's it called? Kinetic body. Okay. So this kinetic body thing is basically a type of object that already has some physics. It's It knows what physics is and it knows how to react to physics and stuff like that. So that's more or less it. Um, so we're going to create that and this is going to be my player. Okay. And this needs a... Uh, like a physical presence in the scene and to give it that physical presence I'm gonna give it a sprite and seeing as I can't be bothered to download stuff right now actually you know what let's let's, let's download something let's let's do things decently um, metal slug <laughs> characters PNG transparent come on yes that's what I'm looking for that's exactly what I was looking for Da, da, da. Download. Can you please free download it? I'm not a robot. Seriously. Seriously, Google. Ah, chimney. I don't know. These. Chimney, chimney. Yes. Can you please download it? Thank you. Will this work? Ah, oh, nice. It worked. Okay. So now that I have my character thingy, what I'm going to do is move that onto the texture over here. And I definitely need to scale this. Let's make it like even smaller. Okay, so that, that looks good, more or less. It's all right, I guess. Um, then uh, this is my thing so one thing I learned very quickly is that you need to use this option almost always uh, what does this do if you enable this thing uh, hold on let me show you what happens if I don't enable it so if I don't enable it and I move this sprite around what I'm doing is I'm moving the sprite but the player is still here this, this reminds me of a lot. So I started off as a Flash developer, and it reminds me a lot of the pains that I would get with Flash. So you need to make sure that you're moving things in the right place in reference to the right things. Anyway, uh, let me command Z that. What I'm going to do is do this. And now if I move it, I'm moving the actual player, and I'm not moving this thing. So um, then I remember that this was telling me something. It has no shape. Correct. So if I want this to collide with stuff, um, what do I do? Do I need to give it, let's see, is it add child node? Shape? Yes, yes. Yes, my memory isn't too bad. So if I want this to collide with things, which I eventually do want it to do, I need to give it a shape. Uh, so I give it this collision shape 2D thing. And now I can give it a rectangle shape and if I zoom in here, you can see that this thing is kind of what is going to collide with walls and stuff like that. So yeah, boom. Yeah, that'll do. That, that looks good. Actually, I'm, I'm annoyed by this. So can I move the shape? I guess not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Boom. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, this is our player in the middle of this world. Oh, by the way, this blue box is going to be our viewport. So, if I play, press play right here, this scene has never seen been saved. Yes, please save it. This is my world scene. Yes, I should see a character in the middle of the screen. It's like we already have a game. I could just close the thing. We're done. 
put it on Steam, make some money, profit. No. So, um, this thing has to, you know, if, if I press play and main scene, yeah, seriously, didn't we do this before? Okay. And, you know, I can't interact with it. I want this to walk left and right and to jump and stuff like that, and it's not doing that. Um, so if I want it to do that, what I have to do is select this player and then add a script right here. And there's this programming language called GDScript. Uh, it kind of looks like Python, but it's not quite Python. Um, and you can see here that it inherits this kinematic body 2D thing. So what that means is that it inherits uh, this physics stuff. A lot of what well, we'll see in a second. Uh, template default random yes create script. So now it's open the code editor mode. Let's see if I can zoom this a little bit. Um, and you can see that now next to the player I have this script button, which means that every time I press this, I'll go back to the script for this player. And I can switch back to 2D and script also here. And it's nicely documented already. This boilerplate code is already explaining some stuff. Uh, declare member variables. So I can declare variables with var, a bit like JavaScript. This is a function. So this is like the setup function. And then there is a process function that is called every frame. Um, now, what do we want to do? We want to be able to move this thing left and right. Um, to do that, we're going to use a variable called motion, which is the way that my thing is moving. And this variable, I think, is going to be a vector. Yes. And it initially is going to be actually an empty vector. Uh, I think by default that's 0, 0. And although here it suggests this process thing, I remember using a slightly different process, physics process. Okay, uh, don't ask me why we're using physics process rather than process. I remember seeing it this way. The dude that showed me stuff did it this way. I'm not in that interested in learning the difference, to be honest. Um, I don't think we're going to need ready. So basically, um, you can see, well, let's do it this way. If I go on to kinematic body... Uh, what was it? Command click on Mac, I guess control click on something else. It opens up the help page for this class, which I inherit as a seeing as my player it is a kinematic body 2D. It inherits all of this, these functions, all of these properties, and it inherits also all of the properties from all this stuff because the phys kinematic body 2D inherits physics body 2D. So if you're used to reading documentation, this stuff will all make sense to you. Um, Anyway, what we're looking for is move and slide, or is it move and collide? I think it's move and slide. Yeah, move and slide. Moves the body along a vector. If the body collides with another, it'll slide along the other body rather than stop immediately. Yeah, that, I think I think that's what we want. Yes, move and slide. I'm not sure why it's not move and collide because that feels right, but I'm pretty sure I used move and then slide. So what you're gonna say is move and slide motion. That's that's uh, regular for now, that's simple. Um, one thing that I learned very quickly is that you need to reassign motion to this thing. Um, move and slide returns the updated motion because if for instance, let's say gravity is pulling you down and we'll see that in a moment and then you hit something um, gravity in the physics world will keep pulling you down but you don't want that downward motion anymore uh, so that's why you want to update it's complicated but it works trust me um, <laughs> yeah like I said I'm trying to teach things because that's like my instinct but I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just trying to build it why, why don't I just build it instead of trying to teach I don't know what do you think let me know down below in the comments let me, don't leave a guy hanging. Let, let me figure out what, what I need to do with these videos. I don't know. I bought a green screen. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Like, like yeah. Anyway. I want to turn left and right. Um, how do I turn left and right? If there's a function 
I thank God for the uh, pressed. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, there is there is like uh, autocomplete, but it's not helping me. Um, is it's like is pressed input. It was like a just just something. Ah, uh, let me see how I can figure this out. Good oh. Key pressed. How to get a key press event? Ah, there it is. If input is is it action? Action pressed. Yes, yes. Here we are. Google search for the win. Right. Yes, then motion dot x equals a hundred. On the other hand, if input dot is action just is action pressed UE left motion dot x equals minus a hundred. Else or is it complaining? Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. I like, I don't know. Let's see how it goes because I'm not very optimistic about this. It's doing what it was supposed to do. I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it here because I'm already so excited. But I want to give you a chance to get some ideas, send stuff in, um, and see if this if people actually find this interesting. So if you did, and if you do want to see me build this thing, please leave a like on this video, and I'm gonna have a very low um, what do you call it? threshold for you for deciding whether you're interested in this which is if i see five likes i'm gonna say okay there are people actually interested in this video i'm gonna make something out of it but i'm gonna stop trying to teach you what i'm doing because i don't know what i'm doing um, we'll, we can get together we'll figure it out together i'm also thinking about doing a live stream while i do this stuff because then maybe people can help me out in the chat um and we can do like a mob programming kind of thing, which could be cool, I guess. Um, I usually record on a Saturday morning. That's what it is right now. Would you be around on a Saturday morning? Would you be interested in watching me do this stuff on a Saturday morning? Again, let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to see me go back to testing and talk about other stuff, let me know. I want to get the conversation started here. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.